Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be making this throw pillow. Um, I'm sure you've seen the picture of it, but I will also include it here. This is the complete one that I made. Um, try to get the whole thing in the frame. Okay, so this is the complete pillow that I made. Um, and so I'm just going to be showing you guys how to make this pillow and we're going to make it in a different color. Um, but first let's talk about the items that you'll need outside of yarn. So you'll need a pair of scissors, you'll need a five millimeter hook and a darning needle. And then also I use this premium pillow form, 12 by 12 inches. I bought this at Michael's. They also have it at Joann's. And make sure to buy the one with a zipper if you want to add extra polyfill. So for mine, um, I just the first one that I just showed you, I don't feel like that one is plush enough. So I bought this extra um, fiber fill so that I can add it into here. So. The good thing about this is that it has a pillow. You can add more. You can take some out if you just feel like it's too plush. Um, but definitely for this tutorial, I felt like um, I want it to be more plush. And I'll show you guys how to add filling in, um, which you just <laughs> pull it off and add it in. But I'll do that with you guys. And um, yeah, we'll get started. Oh, and let me show you the yarn. So this is some extra Red Heart yarn in the color beige. I don't have the wrapper anymore, but I know that it's Red Heart in the color beige. Um, you will need a skein of each color that you're going to use. Um, you just need a regular skein of yarn. Um, like I said, this one is just a Red Heart skein. And then this one is, and it's kind of dusty. This one is um, a Karen Yarn Inspirations one pound um, brown. I'm not sure if the color is like brown or if the color is chocolate or like what the name of the color is because it's another just extra yarn that I had. Um, and for the first one, I didn't use two complete skeins, but I would definitely say just start off with two fresh skeins just to make sure that you have enough yarn. But um, yeah, so here we go. First, you're going to make a ring. Now, if you know how to make a magic ring, that's what you'll do. If not, it's fine to just chain four. I'm going to use a magic ring, but I'll first show you how to chain four. So um, we'll do our slip knot, and then we will chain four, and join this together into the first stitch and slip stitch this together. Okay, and then what we would be doing is adding half double crochets into the middle of the circle. So let me show that as well before I move on to do the magic circle. So yarn over, you'll insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three okay and so then you'd continue working the pattern from there but like i said i'm going to do a magic circle um and i will show you that now i myself um <laughs> i'm going to be honest i don't feel like i've really mastered the magic circle enough to explain it very well but i'm going to try so what we're going to do is we're going to loop the yarn around our finger twice. I'm going to move very slow with this. Um, if you know how to do this already, you can just fast forward and move on. But now I'm going to take my hook and put it under this first loop and then pull the second loop under. Okay? So now we have the second loop under the first loop, but still on our finger and we're still holding it, okay? Then we're going to catch our yarn and we're going to pull that through to secure it, okay? But while it's still on your finger, you're going to place our first half double crochet into that loop. So I'm going to catch the yarn again, yarn over, insert into 
the piece on our loop. I'm sorry, the piece on our finger under, and then we're going to yarn over again, and we're going to pull through, yarn over and pull through all three, okay? So that's how we're going to start with our magic circle. Um, but like I said, you can just do a chain four if that makes you more comfortable. Okay, so now we have our circle and we are going to yarn over and place another half double crochet. So we're starting off with two half double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one. Then I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to place two more half double crochets into that circle. Yarn over. Okay. Now I'm going to tighten it completely. Okay. So now we have our first row. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and turn, and we're going to place two double crochets, one, two, in the first two stitches, and then in the space where we chained one in the previous row, we're going to add two more half double crochets. So one, two. Then we're going to chain one and then place two more half double crochets. One, two. Then in the last two stitches, we're going to place our last two half double crochets. One, Okay, so that's our second row. Now we're going to chain two and turn, and we are going to place four half double crochets in the next four stitches. Two, three, four. So every stitch until you get to the space. And then in the space, two half double crochets, chain one. Oh, I only did one. <laughs> Sorry, two half double crochets in the space, chain one, and then two half double crochets in that space. Okay, now in the rest of the stitches of this row, You'll have four left, you're placing half double crochets. Okay, so after the first three rows is when we're going to do our color change. So it'll be three rows, color change, three rows, color change, three rows, okay? That'll be how we work this pattern. So we're going to do our first color change with our brown color. Well, of course, you can use any color you'd like for this tutorial, but I'm using brown. So we're going to do our first color change. And the way that I do it, um, you can do your color change however you prefer, but I just pull the yarn in, um, pull it through, and then I tighten here. And then I'm going to chain two. and turn okay so we're going to continue placing half double crochets in every stitch until we get to the space okay six you should have six stitches before the space okay 
Now you're going to, in the space, place two more half double crochets. One, two, chain one, and two more half double crochets. Okay. Okay. And so now we have six stitches left on this side after the space, and we are going to place a half double crochet in every stitch. Okay, so now we only do one row of the other color, and now we're going to do three rows of our original color that we started off with, with the tan. So we're going to do the color change in the same way. Oh, and I never, I never snipped it off. So you're going to snip it off from here, snip the brown, and then we're going to add our tan. Okay. So chain two, turn, and then place half double crochet in every stitch until you get to the corner. Okay, so that was eight stitches. Now we're at the space. Place two half double crochets in the space. Chain one and two half, half double crochets in the space again. Okay. Now, eight stitches to finish off this row. All right, and so here we go. So I'll show you guys, um, next to this, I'll show you guys one that I completed. So this is what the finished partial square, if you wanna call it that, or we'll just call it triangle, that's what it looks like. So this is what the finished triangle looks like, and um, it's going to be three rows. So here, this is what we have so far. So we're up to here. And so all together, it's three rows of your main color, one row of your second color, three rows of your main color, one row of your second color, three rows of your main color, and one row of your second color to complete. And it's just half double crochets around with two in the space to create our corner, two in the space, chain one, two in the space, okay? So you're just going to continue that. When you're done, well, you need eight of them all together, four for the front panel and four for the back panel. Now I'm going to show you how to join four together to create our first panel. Okay, so now I have my four pieces and I wanna make sure they're all on the same side. So whichever side you choose is the one you want to be on the outside of your pillow. Um, I wanna choose a side that looks more textured. So we wanna make sure that they're all on the facing the same side so that one's on the wrong side okay then we'll arrange them to bring all the points to the middle so all the points are going to go to the middle okay and now 
we will begin joining these together, okay? So this is, they're all on the side that I want to be facing the outside of my pillow. So to begin joining, I'm going to, I don't know if you guys can see, um, I'm kind of regretting where I carried the yarn in some places, um, <laughs> but I can always pull that out later, but I'm just, there's some areas where you guys can see that. So yeah, maybe carrying the yarn, depending on the colors you're using, cause in the, the one I did, the black and white one, actually it looked fine, but in this one, uh, it's not looking that great, but, um, anyways, <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and flip it over on top of the other one and then we'll begin joining. So I'm going to place my hook through the first stitch here on this side and through the first stitch on the other side. And then I'm going to pull through and chain one. Then I'm going to place a single crochet into that same stitch and then continue joining with single crochets. So going through both sides, placing single crochets. all the way down until we get to the space where our point is or our corner. Okay, so now we are approaching our corner. So this is just a stitch. And then this is our space. And we're gonna go into the space and place two single crochets. We're gonna go through the space on this side and the space on the other side and we're going to place two single crochets in this space. Okay, now we're going to continue and what we'll do is we're going to flip this one over and we are going to go directly into the space. So from the space on this side to the space on the other side. I just want you guys to see. So I'm going into the space, then the space on the other side and placing a, double, a single crochet and then another single crochet. Then I'm going to continue down with my single crochets until I get to the end of the row and placing them in every stitch. Now I'm coming to the last stitch and I'm going to fasten off. And then this is our inside so far. Okay, now we're going to just turn it and reattach our yarn here.
chain one, and then place a single crochet in those same stitches. Now continue down with single crochets. And I'll show you what to do when we get to this joining area. When you get back to the space where your corner is, um, right before you get to where we single crochet down the other direction, you're going to once again place two single crochets in to those into that space now when we get to the space where the single crochet is we're just going to go under there in the middle and place a single crochet on top And we're going to do the same thing and go from the space on this side to the space on the other side and place two single crochets in those spaces. Okay. And now we are going to single crochet down, joining, continuing to join. So now, <clears throat> so now I have completed joining our pieces together. So I'll show you what the other side looks like. This is what it looks like. And like I said, I'm going to pull these pieces where I, um, I carry the yarn I'm gonna pull those out because I don't like the way that looks but so ignore these little things uh, that's all coming out um <laughs> but yeah so this is what it looks like so far so now we're going to fasten off here and we're going to go back to our main color. So back to our tan color, or whichever color you started off with. The first color that you used here. And we will be reattaching that um, yarn. So it's up to you where you reattach this yarn. Um, I'm going to reattach it right here. I'm going to reattach it um, right before we get to the join. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do at the spaces where we joined, um, the rows where we joined. So we're gonna need one double cro two double crochets at the end of each row. So I'm gonna reattach my yarn here, pull through chain two and then I'm going to place a double crochet and then another double crochet in that half double crochet row and I don't want to carry my yarn so don't do that and then I'm going to yarn over and the reason you don't want to carry your yarn here is because we're going to be changing, it's going to be changing color. So you don't want to be, it'll, you'll be able to see it there. So, um, I'm going to place a double crochet here, um, at the end of the single crochet row where we joined 
our pieces, okay? So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and you're going to place two of those double crochets in the end of each half double crochet row. And then we already did one here, 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 and here. You'll need only one where the single crochet rows are. Okay. So when you get to the corner, what you're going to do is you're going to go back into the other the space, um, go into this space, not the space where we um, our circle, our magic circle. You're going to go into this space, and you're going to place two double crochets, chain one, and place two double crochets. Okay, then you're going to continue. So we are finishing up and we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet we created. And we will fasten off. So you have your first panel. Um, what you could do now is block it. So you could block it into a square. I'm not gonna block mine, but you could block it if you want. Um, it's pretty much all going to come together in the end. So I'm not going to block mine. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like this. And you're gonna need two of these panels, one for the front and one for the back. And so now we'll be joining the two panels together. Okay, so now we're going to begin putting them, our panels together. Um, so we'll be seaming up the side. So you wanna make sure that they're both facing um, the inside out as we seam up the edges. So we're going to seam um, up three sides we're going to leave the fourth side open so that we can stuff our pillow into it okay so you can start from anywhere with seaming um any corner and we're just going to go into every stitch so I'm just going to start at this corner. Um, I'm going to find the space. I We don't need to place um, any stitches into the space this time around, but I'm just going to go to the space and start next to it um, in the two stitches that are in the space, and I'm going to start at the top next to the space. So just so that you guys can see. So here's my space, my corner. Here's my corner. Okay, so I'm going to start seaming. So we have two stitches here, a chain one and two stitches here. I'm going to start seaming at these two stitches after the chain one. And put it through to the other side. Remember, inside out, make sure it's inside out. chain one and then place a single crochet 
through both sides and just continue seaming until you get to the other side of your work. So continue seaming around, all the way around until you get to here, until you get to this corner, okay? Um, you're not gonna seam up this top part. Okay, now I'm at my last stitch. And I'm going, I'm, don't fasten off yet. I'm going to leave a really long tail end, um, which is what I'm going to use to whip stitch across the top. Uh, I'd rather have more, um, a longer end than a end that's too short. So I'm just gonna like do a really long end. Um, Okay, so just put that yarn to the side for now. Try not to get it tangled. And now we're going to, so we have our open part, and now we're going to turn it inside out. Well, sorry, we're turning it right side out. <laughs> or outside in, I should say. Okay, so now, so now all of our ends and everything, those are all on the inside. If you have ends, like, so like, remember, I almost forgot. I wanted to take these ends, I wanna bring them back through on the inside because I don't like that I carried them through. I don't like the way those look. Um, well, now they look a little better now that I pulled it, but um, yeah, if you want to do that or anything like that, make sure you do that before you close up your pillow. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. For now, I'll just snip the ends because I just want to finish the tutorial and show you guys what we're doing. But um, yeah, make sure that you have all your ends on the inside or weaved in or however you want to do it. Make sure you do that before you get your pillow inside, okay? So, now we are ready to put our pillow in, but first I want to add some stuffing to my pillow because I just want it more plump. So here's our pillow. So here's our pillow in our bag with extra stuffing. Um, you're not going to need all of this extra stuffing, so you'll have enough for more than one pillow. Um, so I'm just going to pull out some and just start stuffing it in. But I'm going to try to do it evenly so that it doesn't look lumpy. So I'm going to put it in the corners first. So just try to do it as evenly as you can if you're doing this part. This is totally, totally optional. And make sure that you can still zip it after you stuff it. Um, so don't over stuff it to the point where it can't be zipped or the point that it won't fit in your pillow anymore. But. Okay, I think I'm good now on the stuffing. The 
fiber fill. Okay, so now I'm comfortable with it. It has more stuffing. It's plumper than it was. Now I'm gonna put it in. Okay, so here's our opening. And we're just gonna slide our pillow. Okay. We're just gonna slide our pillow into it. This one is so much better than my other one because my other one is so thin. I actually feel like I could have added even more stuffing into this one, but it's fine. This is good. <laughs> this is fine. So much happier with this. Let me see if you guys can see the difference. Can you guys tell? I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one is so much flatter. You guys might not be able to see, but. Okay, moving on. <laughs> now we're going to just stitch up Here, we're going to begin stitching this part. So we have our long tail in here. Make sure all the ends are inside. And then you're going to use your darning needle. This is where you need your darning needle. And you're going to weave that you're gonna weave your darning needle through. We'll weave your yarn through your darning needle, which I have a hard time doing, you guys. Okay. And then I'm just going to get started going from one side to the other side and joining these ends together or these sides together. Like I said, I did a really long tail end, so I have to do a lot of pulling through. Um, and trying not to get it tangled. Okay. So... We're just gonna keep going across the top like that. This is actually really hard to show you guys on camera. But. I'm trying the best that I can, but I think you guys get it now.
Okay, so here we are. I'm going to place my last stitch in there. And what I'm going to do to secure it is I'm going to go through, okay, pull through, and then I'm going to take this piece and wrap it around twice. And I'm going to pull through and pull up my tail end. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. <laughs> Keep pulling. Okay, maybe I did make a tail end that was too long, but... Um, okay, so keep pulling and pull down to create a knot. And then I'm going to do that two more times, so I'll show you again. So I'm going to go through again. Okay. through and then I'm going to take this piece wrap it around pull through and just keep pulling Okay. And then I'll do it one more time just to make sure it's extra, extra secure. Okay, so now we're secure and we are going to snip. We have a lot of extra <laughs> yarn, but it's okay. Okay, so all you'll need to do now with this end, my suggestion is to weave it here in this area where we're gonna have our tassels because you won't be able to see the end um, weaved in here. Um, which really, you won't be able to see it too much if you weave it in anywhere, especially if you weave it in to the seam or anything like that. But I just wanted to mention what you could do with that. And so I'm going to show you guys now um, how we're going to complete our tassels. So. Um, I prefer the tassels to be short, but I'm going to start off with them long and then we'll just trim them down. So we're going to cut 10 pieces of yarn that are the same length or close to the same length. Okay. So we have 10. Now we're going to put them over our finger and we're going to bring over our pillow. And so where I'm going to place them in the last row that we did when we did our um, double crochets around the whole piece, we made a corner. So I'm going to find that piece where the space is in between these two stitches on this side and these two stitches on this side and I'm going to find that on both sides and that is where I want to bring my yarn through so I'm going to open it up a little put my hook in and then I'm going to pull through two pieces at a time and 
and not all the way through we're just as you can see we're just creating loops okay so now we have all of our loops and now you want to make sure that you go through all the pieces with both your fingers And you're going to pull all the ends through. Okay. There. So then we might have to tighten them individually also. Um, and if you lose a piece, you lose a piece. <laughs> Uh, you could pull it back through and loop it around, but I'm not going to do that. Um, it's just one piece, so it's okay for now. Um, but yeah, you could just pull it back through so it could be even. But just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys um, what I'm going to do next. Okay. Now... I'm going to choose the length that I want um, this tassel to be, which, so this is the right side of the tassel. This is the back of the tassel. And this is the front of the tassel. So I'm gonna choose where I want it to end. And I think, I like mine pretty short. I don't like them too long. So I'm just gonna go here and I'm going to snip across. And there's my tassel and you'll place these on each corner um, you can make them you can add more if you want um, the first time around I did a really really thick one so on this one I did 20 pieces of yarn um, I added 20 pieces of yarn to this one and these are much thicker tassels that's the front of the tassel these are much thicker um, so you could do that as well, but yeah, so that's just what you, you'll do and your pillow is now complete. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment and share if you want. Um, also please hit the notification bell as well. That way you can be notified whenever I upload, you'll be the first, one of the first to see it. Um, so also, you can follow me on Instagram um, at Monet.Alexa. I'm also on TikTok under the same handle at Monet.Alexa. It'll also be in the description box as well. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say, but once again, thanks so much for watching. Bye.